I have an idea. As a warm up. Uh, each of you pick a 5e like class and race. Okay. I don't know the 5e classes oh, and races clear. off the top of my head. Or, wait, are you yeah. banning monsters races? No, just like you cr like you're creating... the idea of a kobold Tiamat cleric tickles me pink, and I know it's been done, but I'm just feeling it. Uh, uh, that's fine. I was about to say half orc barbarian, but nah, I'm not going back to Grom. I think I'm going to do a halfling rogue. <laughs> halfling rogue. Mm. Do I want to go generic or do I want to do something neat? It's um... only going to last for like five minutes, maybe. Hey, hey, hey. I mean, yeah, it's a kobold. I think I'll go with right. Centaur rogue. Create a persona. Oh, but I'm going the I'm going the archer version of rogue. No, centaur hunter. Centaur hunter. Okay. Okay. Now what? Hang on, I'm cleaning my glasses. All right. Hey guys. <laughs> so yeah, develop. Think of a real quick while I'm explaining the scene. Think of the first, like create a personality or a persona for this person that you thought of, and I will get it started. That shit takes me like weeks, man. That's why this is practice. You're a jerk. <laughs> All right. Hello, I'm Hamish Halfmash. Hamish. Half mash. I slur my words sometimes. That's because you're drunk. All right. No, it's because I'm a rogue. <laughs> <laughs> one more. Drunk is just one of the side effects of being a rogue. It just <laughs> happens naturally. Oh no, no bard. Maybe bard makes more sense. Yeah, I'm a bard. I changed my mind. Are you sure? Is that your final answer? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so we are in a metropolis with a huge coliseum. Uh, there's suburbs and shops all surrounding areas. The, the whole city is probably like, what, 10, 20 miles across. It is the place to be in this time of the world. You all have come here to either participate in the events of fighting or spectate and make some money off of it. Uh, as uh, the, the day winds down, uh, you, all are, you enter a uh, watering hole and a lovely bartender is in front of you. Um, I'll roll a d3 and see who goes first. Oh, d4. Shit. Of course, it's four. D6. All right, Kenny, you're first. Uh, okay. Your approach. All right, hang on. I'm not done. So it goes man bear, man bear, and then Sven, and then Donnie. Or can I, I get to your turn? No, it's just. Man, man bear, can I wish plug in Donnie? Okay. So, uh, you, you get like a couple lines of interaction and then the next person sh joins up and then the third person joins up at the bar. So the, okay. the, uh, uh, bartender looks at you as you approach and sit down and goes, Oh, hello, adventure. How are you? Uh, well, I can't really sit cause I'm a centaur. So I, I come to the bar, uh, a little backstory. Uh, that I'm throwing together as I'm talking. Um, no, no, no. My name is Nessus. Don't. Hmm? You're supposed to. Pre Don't just give out the backstory. That's supposed to like come through with your conversation with the other two. Oh, uh, okay, fine, be that way. Uh, I uh, canter up to the bar. Uh, I go, hello, barkeep. What is the barkeep? Human, gnome, whatever. What is it? Human, woman. Why not? Human. I'll serve me your finest ale, please, barkeep. And I, I plop a gold coin down on the top bar before she even tells me how much it costs. You want light or dark? 
light, like my coat, and I kind of like wiggle my hair, my my hair. She goes right away. She turns around, goes to the big keg, right, like down the line, starts filling it up. As she's doing that, nervously, your character walks up. First thing I'd be looking for: anyone draconic. Daily, anyone with eczema, it's close enough. If they got any sort of scale thing going on, I've taken that as a sign. No. No. It's pretty clear. It's pretty oh, clear skin in here. All right. No <laughs> dragonborn, no half dragons. Ugh. Go up to the bar, I'll have a water. Uh, okay, so the bartender yeah. is not there at the moment. It's uh, just a centaur. Hey, uh, how you get a drink around here? Uh, what's your race again? Sorry, I forgot. So bold. It's like, so bold. It's like uh, your knee. Yeah, I, I scoff at you, and I just turn. I, I kind of like, you know how horses do that skittish kick with their back foot? I do that towards you, like, get away from me, basically. As that happens, the bartender comes back, hands the, uh, the ale in front of you, and grabs the corn. She looks over to the newcomer and like, oh, hello. Uh, need to wet your whistle? Is the water here good to drink? Ah, uh, the, we have drinking water, yeah. Yeah, I'll have some of that. How much? Uh, no worries. We had, we prepared a whole lot for this event. I'll let me go get you some. Then out of character, you're not going to make me roll like athletics to find the bar stool, are you? <laughs> okay, that's going to be an event. <laughs> I think you just gave him the idea to make you do that too. <laughs> All right, so she 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 uh, wanders off. Uh, uh, Mamre, on the other side of you, the third adventurer mm -hmm. arrives. Hey, hey, uh, you big guy. Yeah. Yeah, you too. I, I kind of smile when he says, "Big guy, go, ah, you admire my grandioseness, but oh, it's good yeah. of you." Yeah, of course, it's a lot to take in, and I got a lot to give. See, I got some tickets on sale. I figure you two are probably heading into the Coliseum, so uh, mm, I have cool. no need for your your paltry tickets. I am the main event at this Coliseum. At oh. least I will be. Oh, even better. I got tickets for entry to participate. Three gold for entry tickets. Bar yeah. Bartender walks up, hands you the water. Like, oh, and the third one. Wow, you guys are just starting off my uh, my late night rush. Well, uh, you, uh, you thirsty? Oh, yeah. Hamath hey, Half Math is always thirsty. What do you want? What can I get you? A light ale, because my heart is light and full of love. Sounds good. She walks off to go get that. Anyways, fellas, I was about to give you the deal this century. Tickets. Five gold off. That's right. I'm only giving you tickets to enter for three gold apiece. I just kind of like shake my hair at him and look back at my beer and continue to drink. Oh, you're not getting into the arena. Not on the cheap. What about you, uh, Colabal fella? Uh, not interested. I already have my ticket. Well, yeah, you, your friends, family. You know what? I'm actually... Came as half math. Is not good at math. How about tickets for 50 silver a piece? That's right. I got my prices wrong the first time. She walks up, hands you your beer. Thank you. Thank you, bartender. Um, Bellas? Are you, and she kind of like puts a hand out like, um. Come on, fellas. Fellas, uh, nobody wants to buy a ticket? It's just one moment, bartender. I kind of neigh at him. You know, horses neigh. Uh, how, how much for the ale, my lady? She tells you, what, uh, 50 sailor? 50 silver, yeah. 50 silver a ticket. Why not? Price of the century. No? 
No. No, you Jennifer pathetic being, I say. Did you not get the hint of my glorious hair in your face? I perform a pickpocket check real quickly. Don't know if I have to roll for anything. Try to slide something from the centaur. He's being a dick. I'm like six feet taller than you. You can't even reach where my purse is. How about a strand of centaur hair? It's worth <laughs> it's I mean, Roll a d20 at that point. <laughs> you know that a silver piece is worth one-tenth of a gold, right? <laughs> I roll a 15. So it's like, hey, you want this for three bucks? No? Nope. How about 50 dimes? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, has, has that ever worked? <laughs> He's, like he's, one he's, con man to another. Has that ever worked? Amish half math is not good at math. <laughs> uh, you managed to grab one silver piece. Uh, is there, this a down payment for the ale? She kind of like leans into you, looks at you. I'll let this, I'll, I'll, I'll take this. But only if you can make this guy laugh. And she kind of nudges towards the centaur. Oh, that's easy. Centaurs love me. And, uh... One moment. I duck down underneath the bar stool. And, uh, the centaur doesn't see me. I creep up the other side and start tickling under his belly. Okay, I, um... Basically want to trample this tiny person who has decided to go underneath me. So what are you doing? Trampling him. All four feet. I am trying to step on his face. As the hooves come crashing down upon me, the sound I come crawling up the other side. Oh, see? See, my lady, centaurs, they have a very peculiar laugh. Sounds like pain. Kind of look at her. She looks at you and like, not good enough. <laughs> yeah, they're also ventriloquists. You'll see his face didn't do anything when he was laughing. <laughs> that was a good one. It sounds like pain. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I'll try again, my lady. My cobalt friend, maybe you'll help me out. I'm gonna sing a duet. Oh, my center. Oh, my center. I forgot the rest of the words. I'm running away. <laughs> I, I run I, out of I the bar. I draw my bow and arrow as he starts to run away, and I go, do you wish me to shoot that meager thing, barkeep? I will do it for free. You feel a hand on your shoulder. Of just like uh, a relaxing hand, like no, uh, like and so so you you calm down a little bit. I got oh you humans and your kindness. It it is not your best quality. I say as I sheath my bow. Okay, before you get a chance to say that and do that, I was gonna say, you feel that hand. You hear a little knock on a, a, like a little tone, like on the bar's top that you assume is coming from her. And just as you hear that, as Donnie's character, what's your name? Uh, Half Math gets to the door. The per the, there's a uh, one of someone from the one of the chairs just reaches behind and just clotheslines him and he like flips into the door and lands on his back. Oh, everything's all topsy turvy. Whoa. Hearing that centaur laughter again. <laughs> no uh, laughter yet? No? Nothing? <laughs> and, <laughs> and, as that happened, like he, he falls on his back, the big guy gets up like a half orc probably like a barbarian of sorts picks him up by his ankle and is just holding him and oh. looks at the bartender is this who you're looking for he goes yeah he uh 
Uh, he tried to run out on his pill. The guy, yes. the big guy looks at you. Like, oh, that's not okay around here, especially not during this event. Like, hey, boys. I think we're, it's time to have some fun. I got a ticket on sale. In, in the corner, the band kickstarts playing a lovely, uh, kind of like a ragtime tune. And you get like, and like four other orcs get up, or three other orcs get up, and they have him in a starfish hold, like each on each side. And they just start run, bouncing in a circle. Oh no. That I actually, my character does laugh. I go, ha! Ah, that, that, that is hilarious. I just wish you would let me put an arrow in him to join the humor. Uh, she, 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 she chuckles, she's like, well, oh, that's all I was looking for. Fellas, you can throw him out with the pigs. Uh, and and the, the one guy br exits with uh, with half math and throws him out. <laughs> or, I mean, he exits with you on his shoulders, so. I go blasting off again. Oh, no. <laughs> Plagiarism at its best. Come on. <laughs> You're usually better than that much blatant plagiarism. You said at its best. Better than at its worst. 